Constantine, my dear cousin. I'm always happy to see you. What news do you bring? We managed to solve the problem of the attacks on San Mateus. Really? So what was causing them? The city and its outposts were continuously being attacked by animals. These beasts were led by a large creature that strangely resembled a mountain guardian. This is the same creature which High King Vinbar turned into, isn't it? Exactly. Except it looked sick and it didn't act like the High King did. It was calling the animals around it and it seemed like it was transferring its disease to them before making them attack. I have never seen anything like it. And there's more. Hikmet was in a similar situation. Do you remember? Of course. Don't tell me that a guardian was involved there as well. Yes. The governor was convinced that the attacks were led by the islanders. And yet they were being attacked as well. And it was by their side that I fought the creature. That time it was a Nardai Glenderman, a beach guardian. But it seemed just the sick. And it was also manipulating the animals to make them aggressive. So it would be some kind of epidemic affecting the guardians. I don't see what we can do about it. Actually, I think you've already done what had to be done by eliminating those that were threatening our neighbors. Perhaps. But I'm certain there's more to it than a simple epidemic. These beasts attack in a coordinated fashion, which requires an intelligence that they don't have. You're exaggerating, dear cousin. The attacks you thought were coordinated may just have been coincidental. You may be right. But I can't help thinking that someone is behind all this. Do you really believe that a Danegad would want to take over the island? Cousin, you know how much I respect you, but frankly, this doesn't seem very coherent. But I see it's already quite late. If you'll excuse me, dear cousin. Regrettably, I must leave you. Where are you going? Not very far, rest assured. But I have a small personal matter to take care of, you see. Don't be concerned. There's absolutely no risk. Use the opportunity to take some rest. You've really performed miracles recently. See you later. But why would he leave like that? God, do you know where my cousin is going? Sorry, Your Excellency. His Highness didn't tell me anything. You are one of his bodyguards, aren't you? I am, Your Excellency. But recently, it has been difficult to force His Highness to accept our presence. Recently? You mean this isn't the first time he's left without an escort? I... I'm sorry, Your Excellency. You'd better tell me everything. But I... Fine. I don't mean to be disrespectful towards him. But His Highness's behavior has been very... Peculiar recently. He sleeps very little and goes out alone almost every night. And it didn't occur to anyone that I should be informed. Well, His Highness had specifically ordered us not to tell you about it. And where does he go? I thought the days when he used to go from tavern to tavern were over. He... he doesn't go to taverns, Your Excellency. From what I know, he... he goes outside the city. Where could he go outside the city? I've no idea. We saw him going north. That's all I know. Listen, I understand this matter is putting you in a difficult situation. You were supposed to protect my cousin wherever he went, but he refused and ordered you to keep your mouth shut. But Constantine is not just my governor. He's my cousin. I'm worried about him. He's already been abducted once when leaving the city. So, if you know anything else, I don't really know where he's going, Your Excellency. But I think I know where you could find out. When he doesn't leave the palace, he stays in his office for hours. He writes so much down in there that he could fill entire books. Here, I have the key. Take it. I hope you find His Highness and manage to make him see reason. I don't like this at all. What could he be doing outside every night? Ever since he became Onol Manawi, he has become even stranger than he was before. I'm starting to believe that the revelations of Enon Mil Frictiman had some truth to them. Let's rummage through his papers. We may find a clue.
It can't be easy to discover that your cousin has descended into madness. But we can't let him kill these people simply because he's afraid they might have seen him. The trees on your road always bear fruit. Thanks. You saved us. These beasts would have torn us to shreds. These animals were strange, as if they were enraged. Thanks again, Renaixe. I'm glad I could help you. And perhaps you can do me a favor in return. I'm looking for a young man, a Renaixe. But he looks a bit like an Onol Manawi. Someone like you? In some ways. But his marks are different, darker. He's talking about the crazy Don Egad. Indeed, that might be him. Do you know where to find him? No, we see him passing by around nightfall, but we don't know where he's going. He walks along the path, often followed by some beasts. He has a sinister look in his eyes. He scares me, so we stay hidden. And you do well to hide. I think he's the one who sent these animals to attack you. Do you have any idea how I could figure out where he's going? He could hide in the old house. He would see him passing by and could follow, couldn't he? You're right. If you take this path to the right, you'll reach an abandoned house. You can hide there. And from up there, you will be able to see the path perfectly. Thank you. You've been a great help. And stay hidden. You may still be in danger. Be prudent, Onol Manawi. You're very isolated here. Why live so far from a village? It's a long story. Matir, will you tell him? When I was young, I got engaged to a young man. But he wasn't my Minundanem. I thought he was, but I was wrong. And one day, I met the one I would love for all my life. As I had broken my engagement, we were exiled. So? Our parents came to settle here. They built this house, and we were born. There. Now you know the whole story. Do you want to know anything else? I'll leave you alone. Kwa awalem seg. We can't be seen from the path. Let's wait here to see where Constantine goes. I see him. Then he's not alone.
follow him, quick. Constantine, what are you doing? Cousin! You're here! I, I, I would have preferred that you learn all of this another way. To be able to reveal everything to you in better circumstances. But whatever power we earn, there are some things that escape us. I have no idea what you're talking about, but what are you doing here? I seem monstrous to you. I am well aware of that. But I promise to explain everything when the moment is right. Then you will understand. You will see. The temptation is so great to share all with you right now. You have done so much for me. You have given me so much. I haven't forgotten, believe me. But I still have more to do. Forgive me and have patience. Hold them back. But do not kill him for anything in the world. Constantine. Come back and explain yourself. The thing I told this spoiled brat how to wield a weapon. And now he's throwing beasts at us. He's gone mad. That's the only explanation. Move away. Things are about to get dicey.
him do it, didn't you? You saw him draw from me, steal my children, my guardians. Pervert my voice. Yes, but I don't understand. What he wants? Eternity, strength, power. It is what they all want. Those who take without looking beyond themselves. Like all those from the faraway lands. He wasn't like that. He couldn't care less about all that. Then it is the sickness, the brevity of his existence, that terrified him to the point it changed who he is. You must stop him. Each time that he bonds, he destroys me a little more. And with me, the hope for a cure. And now it's my heart, my most sacred sanctuary that he covets. You must kill him. That is madness. The consequence of his folly, yes. Believe me, there is no other solution. Stop him, flesh of my earth, or there will be nothing left to save. I still can't believe this. I understand what you feel. I have trouble believing it myself, but Enon Milfrichtemann never lies. We need to stop your cousin by any means possible. We must learn more if we want to understand his plans and prepare against them. This hiding place he was talking about in his notes. We must find it. If in his folly he remembered just a small bit of what I taught him, then he shall warn his guard to be ready for us. We will need to be discreet and find ourselves allies. You're thinking of all the creatures that he has perverted. A veritable army. Precisely. And against an army, we will need soldiers. The natives will follow you because their god has ordered it. We might also be able to count on help from the Norts. We'll need to speak to their admiral. We should also be able to count on Sieglinde. Her troops will be all the more welcome. And of course, we can also go and find the Mother Cardinal, as well as Governor Buren. <sighs> what an absurd project. On the continent, they would brand us crazy, but not here. On an island where everything is possible, and all folly is accepted. Let us go. We need to put an end to all of this. What brings you here on Almanawi? I came to ask for your help in stopping my cousin, Dunkus. Did you hear about the attacks of creatures led by strange guardians throughout the island? Yes, Darren sent a messenger to tell me about it. My cousin was sick, and to cure him, Katasach used the bonding ritual on him. But the power he received from it made him mad, and he started bonding himself in other places. He transformed his guardians each time, and used them to attack those he considers to be his rivals. What you're telling me is terrifying. Katasak and Devosh Tire should never have bonded him. Your cousin is breaking the balance. He's consuming, and will only want to consume more. Indeed. Enon Miel Frichtemann warned me that Constantin was now targeting the sanctuary at the heart of the island. I cannot fight him alone. I need allies. I intend to go and find the other factions and ask for their support. But I also need your people. 
because we must all stand together to stop the threat that is weighing on the island. Your will to create an alliance between all the peoples on this island is wise and noble. And the call of Enomil Frichtemann cannot remain unanswered. We will be by your side in the battle. I am not a fighter, but Dedra will lead our warriors. And I would also like for you to take this weapon. I pray it will be useful in the fight that is coming. Thank you, Dunkus. Don't thank me. You managed to earn my people's trust. And you fight for a cause that affects us all. May the Earth support each of your steps. And may the volcano give you its strength. I must admit that I expected Dunkus to be more angered when he learned what Constantine had done. He's a sage among sages. Even amongst the Donegada. Enon Mil Frichtemann speaks in his ear. I think he already knew what was happening, even before we came to see him. That confirms it. I made the right choice. Tierfredi couldn't have a better High King. Desarde, what can I do for you? I have come to ask for your help, Admiral. My cousin has been plunged into madness, and he apparently wishes to conquer the whole island. He took control of many creatures by reenacting rituals he learned from the islanders, and now he uses them to attack the cities and the villages of those he considers to be his rivals. A difficult situation, admittedly, but one that does not concern us. Who's in charge of the island is none of our business to Sarde, and you know that. It actually does concern you. If my cousin takes control of the island, soon there will be no ports where your ships can berth. He's not looking for political influence. He desires power. Absolute power. I see. It's a decent argument. So what now? We must stop him at all costs. And for that, I will need allies. I already have the support of other factions, but I was hoping I could count on the help of the Nords. You're one of ours, Desarde. Of course we will fight by your side in this battle. Thank you, Admiral. Godspeed, Desarde. And good luck. Hello, Commander. Lord Desade. How can I be of service to you? I have come to ask for your help. I'm at your service, Your Excellency. What is it you want from me? We need reinforcements to protect the sanctuary of the islanders, north of the island. Very well. I will send some troops there. But may I ask who or what they will be fighting? Creatures, in great numbers. And probably my cousin. I beg your pardon? As your men must have told you, he has changed a lot recently. Ever since he was cured of the Malachor and bonded to the island, he has become obsessed with power. He is now targeting the heart of the island. If he succeeds, 
We're all doomed. I have indeed heard reports of the Governor's peculiar behavior. Since he is our employer, I asked my men to turn a blind eye. But thanks to your help, we avoided dishonor. I won't forget it. If you're telling me that we are in danger, and that we need to go to this sanctuary, we'll go. Thank you, Commander. Anything else? I have to go. Goodbye. I also have a lot to do. Until next time, Your Excellency. Your Excellency, Lord Dusade, and to what do I owe this honor? I have come to solicit your help and to propose we forge an alliance. An alliance? Against whom? You remember, no doubt, the attacks that fell upon Hikmet, but also San Mateus, and against the natives. Of course. You told me that different Guardians sent the beasts. Precisely. And the Guardians were manipulated by someone. I discovered who it was. This revelation will not please you, but I have no choice but to tell you. It is Constantine. Surely you jest. What is the meaning of this? Do you know how many men have died during these attacks? Allow me to continue, I beg you. My cousin's sickness shook him to the core. Then, there was a ritual and his capture. And Constantine has fallen into madness. He has been increasing these rituals in order to link himself to the island, to gain power and manipulate its creatures. He is fighting a war against everyone, and it now appears he wants to take control of Tirfredi. He is preparing to attack the Volcano Sanctuary, and I need help to stop him. It is in the name of the Congregation that I come to see you. Constantine betrayed us as well. That's madness. It is complete madness. All of this superstitious nonsense. These absurd theories. I believed you sincere, Disarde. Which does not mean that I believe you now. But no matter. You are in need of men to stop your cousin who has already attacked us. Precisely. I have already gathered support, but I need as many allies as possible. Let us be clear. I don't believe for an instant that this story has a link to the island or whatever foolishness. But I do trust you. You have rendered us valuable services and have supported us. And since we cannot allow the crimes of your cousin to go unpunished, we will stand beside you. Thank you, Excellency. Thank you. You have improved our chances of success tenfold. I have to go. Look forward to seeing you again. Farewell, my lord. Your Eminence, I salute you. Sir de Sardé, what can I do for you? Do you remember I thought that someone must have been responsible for the attacks you sustained? Yes, you thought that this guardian who sent us the animals couldn't have been acting alone. And I was right, sadly. You're hesitating. Are you afraid of my reaction? Indeed. As the person responsible is none other than my cousin, Constantine. Uh, does this mean that the congregation has decided to wage war on us? And thanks to which obscure alliance has your cousin been able to manipulate these creatures? Constantine acted alone, and he betrayed us as much as he betrayed you, believe me. As for the way he manipulated these creatures, do you remember that my cousin was sick? Absolutely. And it is said that his recovery was the result of a rather suspicious miracle. Are you telling me that your cousin has made a pact with the demons of this island? Something like that. He was cured by a Donegad of the island who performed a bonding ritual. But the power he received from this made him thirsty for more, and he bonded himself to other places, thus gaining control over the guardians who were protecting these sacred places. But why attack us? Did his madness make him forget about our alliance? His thirst for power is making him want to control the island entirely by himself. And I know that for this purpose he will soon attack the native's main sanctuary on the volcano. I won't stand a chance against all the creatures he's taken control of. 
and I need some help. Others have already joined me, but we also need the support of Teleme. Having a common enemy should help us forget all the differences that have been opposing us. The idea that we would protect the Sanctuary from an insular demon is completely insane. But you have helped us several times, and I trust your judgment. You can count on our help. My men will fight by your side. Thank you, Your Eminence. Thanks to your wisdom, we have a chance to prevail. I must leave you. Naturally, Your Excellency. What can I do for you? To tell you that men are going to come all the way to the sanctuary. Some Renaigse. I thank you for coming to warn me in person. But our High King has already spoken to me. I am disgusted to welcome warriors of the faraway island. But the decision is not mine. And in truth, we do not have the choice, do we? No. It is all of Tirfredi and Enon Mil Frichtemen that's in danger. We have need of every able warrior to protect them. You need to prepare yourself as well. I fear that you will not be spared. We will fight, have no doubts. Because such is our duty and our will. These are our lands that are attacked. I have no doubt. Good luck, Glendan. May the rocks give you their toughness. You shall need it more than everyone else. Can I do anything else for you? I must leave. Goodbye. Kwa awelem seg. The cave that Constantine indicated in his note shouldn't be very far. He has guards that are very loyal to him. There's a chance they'll be protecting his hideout.
are about to get Constantine has marked several places on this map. I recognize some of them. They are sacred places for the natives. Places of connection. This place. This journal. My poor Constantine, you have completely lost your mind. What are you hoping to achieve with these rituals? No Donegad has ever done such a thing. It goes against the balance that we are defending. Enon Mir Frichtemann was right. Your cousin wants power. He is feeding from the strength of Tyr Fredi. So much so that he's threatening Enonmil Frictaman himself. He wants to take his place. <sighs> to think he's been plotting this absurd plan for weeks. He even used us to achieve it. The intruder in the sanctuary was certainly sent by him to scout the place. We'll need to gather allies if we're going to stop him. But we will also have to weaken him and break apart the bonds that he's established. I don't know exactly how these things work. And unless you do, we're gonna need help. How about Dunkus? Mev scares me a little. You're right. Let's go and find him.
What brings you here on Aumanawi? As I've told you before, my cousin bonded himself in many places before he decided to target the heart of the island. You did tell me, and you must know that by doing so, he has acquired a power that no Donegada has ever possessed. That is why I need your help. We need to break some of his bonds in order to weaken him. Rest assured, all the Donegada will answer to the call of their Hoi King. And with their help, we will heal the wound your cousin has opened. However, to accomplish this, it is I who will need your help. What can I do? During the ritual, the one who is bonding himself spills some of his blood near the base of a stone. And this blood summons a guardian. The guardian lifts the stone so that it may serve as an anchor point for the bond. The only way to break this bond is to have a guardian topple the stone. We will be able to do it, but these rituals take a long time. Too long to be done quickly. So, in the meantime, you must prevent your cousin from drawing magic from the place. Here, take these seeds and plant them at the bottom of your cousin's bonding stones. These plants grow very fast, and their roots will prevent him from drawing the strength of Tifradi. However, you must be careful, because the guardians corrupted by him will come to defend the stones. Thank you, Dunkers. And thank you for wanting to stop your cousin. Don't worry. I will send my people to finish the work of the plants I have given you.
plant the seed Lucas gave us at the base of the raised stone. Look! The plant seems to be growing extremely fast. The Donnygarda of Dunkus's clan are sure to be here soon to finish breaking the bond. The plant seems to be growing extremely fast. The Donnygarda of Dunkus's clan are sure to be here soon to finish breaking the bond. How are you feeling, my child? What you are about to do is difficult. Don't make it harder than it has to be, Petrus. Fighting against your cousin isn't pleasant, but it's the only logical thing to do. A nicer way of saying he has no choice. Indeed. I must stop Constantine, regardless of what it may cost me. Not only to obtain an antidote to the Malachor, but also to save this island. I have learned many things by your side, and thanks to you, I was able to give my mother back to the Earth. I won't forget this. And this is my land. My people, I will be by your side, 
You will not go through this ordeal alone. What's happened to Constantine is regrettable. But you're doing what must be done. You're a good person, Greenblood. Then you can count on your old master of arms to protect you. We will all be with you. After all, this concerns all of us, doesn't it? Naturally. We will be by your side to support you both physically and spiritually. Thank you. You have been precious allies, and you are proving once more the value of your friendship. Now let's go. It'll be a shame if we arrive too late. The entrance to the sanctuary has been forced. A fight took place here. Constantine managed to get through. Let's hurry. Dusade, glad to see you. Sadly, we couldn't stop your cousin. He suddenly stormed our position, along with a horde of enraged creatures. We didn't stand a chance. And now there are beasts attacking us relentlessly. My men are doing all they can to stop them. We thought it best to stay here to keep the path open for you, should you want to face your cousin. Thank you. You did well. I'll do everything in my power to catch him and stop him from carrying out his plan. Keep holding on as long as you can. I need to be able to reach him. Wait, there's a group of creatures coming. May the enlightened protect me in this battle! them green blood he's right we must help them stop these creatures are you sure every minute gained is a minute that allows you to save us glad to have you with us Kurt just like the good old days and thank you too Afra it is an honor enough with the talking green blood go and stop Constantine I'd hate to be doing this for nothing in that case thank you and good luck to both of you
There you are. I was starting to think that we would die here for nothing. Your cousin just passed through here with a horde of beasts, and he keeps sending us more. We won't hold very long. We're not used to fine creatures like these. We are, and we will hold long enough for you to reach the heart, even if we must die in the process. But you must chase him. You must prevent him from performing the ritual at all costs. If Enon Milfrichtemann dies, we're all doomed. I'm well aware of that, believe me. But here come some more beasts. To arms! Stay with my people. And I'll stay with her. One blade more can't hurt. We need to prevent the beasts from following your tracks. Yeah, we could use some help here, to be honest. I wouldn't have put it that way, but the Moridigan isn't wrong. You see? Over and done. You should go now. And may the volcano give you its strength. Well, good luck. Oh, and Vasco, be careful. Is this the last time we'll see each other? I don't know.
There you are. Praise the Enlightened. Your cousin... ...has already reached the heart. Our other allies inform me. They are also trying to stop the creatures. What do you intend to do? Pursue him all the way there and do everything I can to stop him. In that case, may the Enlightened keep you in his divine... Oh no. More beasts are coming! Be prepared! I'm staying with my people. I knew you'd say that. Well, I wasn't going to let the young ones get all the glory. Your help would be a blessing, father. You see? You should go now, my child. Be careful. We are all praying for your success. Thank you, Petrus. Be careful, too.
I do not desire your death. I'm sorry. Why? Why have you done this? But for you. For us. So that we may live free at last. This makes no sense. Constantine, it's madness. You don't understand because you're still attached to the old world. This old, dying world which, to survive, has betrayed, used, and manipulated us and would not have hesitated to kill us. Perhaps, but... I've seen death, cousin. And I understood the vanity of it all. My father's ruses just so he could earn more power. The political bowing and scraping to preserve corrupted nations. I have been offered unrivaled power, allowing me to get rid of this. To send the old world back to its inevitable death and to build something new here. Something unique. And this new world is my gift to you. You and I could be its new gods, the immortal and benevolent monarchs. He himself is the incarnation of the old world he is speaking of. He has its vices and its poison. For his own immortality, he's prepared to destroy everything around him, to break millennia of foicles. I implore you, flesh of my land, think of all the lives that will come to an end to feed his pride. Don't listen to this old god. He's like all the others, after all, clinging to life. All you have to do is to bind yourself here, with me, and we will be gods together, forever. After the fall of Constantine, my young student managed to establish stronger links between the old nations and the natives. Some of their Donegada were even invited to the continent, and with their help, it slowly became a land filled with life again. And for the first time in a long while, the number of cases of the Malachor is decreasing. Those who bravely fought at Dorhad Genadu were celebrated everywhere. After all, if it weren't for this unlikely alliance, the island would have fallen into Constantine's greedy hands. Following this amazing victory, Vasco was awarded the rank of Commander of the Fleet. But he refused this honor. He preferred to stay beside the one he loved, although they do occasionally put out to sea. Zieglinda took Kurt as an advisor, but he insisted on keeping his place alongside his former student and friend, watching his back, as he always had. Siora obtained the title of Marl of the Red Spears alongside her twin. She leads them with wisdom, but often reunites with the one she still calls her Karantz. Afra set aside her weapons and went back to her research on the native culture and flora of the island. It is said that she is even writing a book with the help of Dunkasi's clan when not visiting her friends. 
Petrus's ambitions have finally been fulfilled. He obtained the much coveted title of Cardinal. Despite the responsibilities implied by such a title, he still sometimes visits the one he calls his child. Despite the help Ulan received, which allowed him to restore the importance of the seaside Nemeus, he still had to renounce the role of Marl as he faced the contempt of the other clans. Her friendship with the Renaixe helped Deirdre to overcome her reticence. She willfully accepted to follow the orders of her new High King. Dunkas and his people spent a lot of time with savants and theologians. Patiently, they shared their knowledge of the Earth and learnt new techniques from one another. And in so doing, they restored balance between the New World and the Old. Following the investigations revealing the horrifying practices of Dr. Asili, the Alliance changed their methods and even appointed an ethics council to oversee the work of its scholars. The public revelations of St. Matthias's life led to a deep change in Teleme. The Ordo Luminis was dismantled for good, and the missionary's purpose is now to establish dialogue rather than conversion. Aware that their culture of secrets would lead them to their demise, the Nords changed their methods. They welcomed numerous new recruits amongst them, notably natives. Under Sieglinder's control, the guard returned to the honorable values that had made its reputation. And they did so all the more easily, now that their shadiest members were out of the picture.